Hello. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a fun assortment of items. Some are gifted, some are things I've recently acquired and have had time to dust out and also some newer items I'm looking forward to try and restocking on some of my favorite products so far. So, kind of like a beauty makeup skin fun type of video. So, yeah, I look forward to sharing some items with you. I wanted to first go ahead and mention Hey Happiness, who graciously have gifted me some products to just share. And they are a jewelry company located in Berlin. They are both European and uh, I think they also serve the US, so very cool. And I love how their brand is simply just bright and happy. I would say their style is very dainty, so if you're looking for simple dainty items, they have a really great collection. So. I'll go ahead and share what I got and dive right in. Before I jump in, I wanted to share the original products that I got from Hey Happiness when they gave these to me a little while ago. And I am happy to say I literally wear them they are part of my ring stack. I wear rings every day and it's been kind of a fun journey because I love wearing rings and making them part of my personal style. Um, and so far I've had these for a couple months and they've really held up very well. I've had another ring for about the same amount of time and I noticed that the gold like covering has already withered away, but these have held up so well. I would say, you know, because these rings are in the more mid-size, mid-range, I would say, of pricing, I'm really happy that they're holding up for the price. And it's just beautiful. Um, I just wanted to plug these in to mention that I already have tried out these and wear them literally every day and they've held up really well but of course it's only been a couple months we shall see <laughs> but I wanted to share that okay I can't quite remember which is what <laughs> let's start off sort of slightly different packaged, but it's very compact, so it's like a little this ring out. It's, as you can tell, very chunky and like 
a woven chain. It's very beautiful. I am incredibly excited to wear it. And just look at that. I think I feel like my hands are a little swollen because it's like the end of the day. <laughs> um, and I've also been having just like coming down from the weekend, but if it's very comfortable. I definitely think this is going to last really well and be a part of my day-to-day -day stack. <laughs> yeah, and I like how you could also just wear it on its own, you know, and, and not have to feel the need to wear a ring on every finger because I think it's just like a nice statement on its own. So I am so excited to wear that. Very great and I will link this below along with everything else I got if you want to check it out or their site in general um, but yeah super beautiful and I like the cloth too okay so actually I might stick this one resist a cute box. I'm one of those people that end up keeping a lot of boxes around and I know it's a problem. <laughs> so, okay. Put that over there. I want to share these but kind of want to wait till you'll see in a minute <laughs> what I mean. Okay, so next we have Another little box. Oh, this one's pink. Very cute. Oh, I forgot this one's hidden underneath this. Which makes sense because otherwise the box wouldn't close. Alright, so this is the Chevron style ring. And I love it because it's one piece. But it looks like you're wearing two rings, and I love it. And I think it's slightly adjustable, so you can squeeze it to make it tighter. But I just love, love it. I think it's also that you can like do it other ways. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. That feels most comfortable, but yeah. Loving that. I feel like this is something I can wear um, like in multiple different ways. I really like that it sort of can sit comfortably in the middle of my finger, <laughs> that makes sense. And it feels really nice, it feels really smooth and not like too in the way. Sometimes I can get a little bit overstimulated with my rings it doesn't happen very often, just like when I'm under duress. <laughs> just like with sounds and things like that too. Or when you feel like you need to wear something comfortable. Sometimes certain rings feel a little like too much. Um, but this feels really comfortable. Lovely. Definitely going to be a staple day-to-day -day item for me. Alright. Okay. So we have the last item. Another cute pink box. beautiful necklace and it's like a little pearl drop <laughs> and 
when I was looking at the items, I was thinking about like the pieces that I am missing in my collection of jewelry. And I feel like I don't really have anything super dainty that I can just wear on its own and feel like it's all put so, together. I have yet to try it on, but I do think that it'll be a great length, not too long, not too short, sort of maybe in the middle. But yeah, I'm excited to pair this with the earrings that I got to match. website, you can check out their pearl collection. Um, I know they were selling different types of pearls and all that, so you might want to check that out. So yeah, I think that it's really great that they have uh, sets like this as well, because it was something I was really looking for. Oh. <laughs> so I can't wait to wear these for my anniversary. And they are on the dainty side, like I mentioned. I think Hey Happiness really does that And I love that I can also wear this for work. <laughs> okay. So, those are all the things I got from Hey Happiness. If you'd like to check them out, I'll have the links below of the items I got and everything. There is a discount code if you would like to make a purchase through my link. And I do believe there's also some gifts with purchases. Um, so I'll put all the information below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel as it allows me to get opportunities like this. I truly appreciate you and I'm excited to dive into the next very crinkly package. It's actually some bathing suits from a company called Burlook. I purchased these a little while ago, not too long ago. Um, and it's because I kept getting an Instagram ad for one of them and I'll share which one it was. Um, and I have since tried these on just to make sure I liked them so far. So I just wanted to share the packaging in this sort of like woven burlap style bag. It's very crinkly. <laughs> so that's the company burlap. So the bathing suit that sold me on this brand <laughs> was this bathing suit. I'll maybe share a photo as well, so you're able to tell. Uh, but it is like a very, I don't know, just like very romantic cut with the chest area very like ruched. I will say um, I got a large because um, my hips are wide as well and I have a larger chest. So usually a large is kind of a good, comfortable, you know, like, full body bathing suit size. I will say the chest was is a little big on me. I have to really cinch, which is nice. You can, like, tighten the chest area. And my favorite, 
adjustable straps. For all my short girls out there, we know adjustable straps are so important. You know what I'm saying? And I just fell in love. It kind of gives, you know, the like blue china or like porcelain set of dishware. <laughs> but I love it nonetheless. And it is a um, one piece. The back is pretty simple. So again, it's by Look, I believe it's an Asian company. This is the fabric. Apparently it's from some type of recycle. I think the packaging is recycled. Oh, it's recycled. Okay, so there's some like some sustainable elements per chance. Recycled nylon, that's nice. It's definitely it was like a $30 up there, kind of maybe $50, I don't remember. It's definitely not the cheapest bathing suit, but I do think it's pretty affordable compared to, there's some bathing suits out there that are like $100 for like one piece, like the bottom or the top, and I just think that's a little above my, my budget, so I decided to go for two, um, really nice bathing suits that are a bit more mid-range, uh, budget, so, yeah, I think this is gorgeous, can't wait to wear this. Now, I have a black bikini, which I did buy the top and the bottom separately. Like, they were two different products, essentially, but they match together. And they have, like, a little ring here and on the bottoms. It's kind of a cheeky bottom, but not that cheeky. Not that Bottoms are large. They're okay. They're an okay fit. I think I am still getting used to like being super comfortable in bikinis. <laughs> Even as I'm older. Like it's just been that way with me forever. But there's a level of confidence I think all of us tend to try to have. But um, it's truly cute and it does fit me. I wish it was like a little bit bigger. And then, ironically, or not ironically, but I got a medium in the top because I really wanted a tight fit for my chest. But, because usually sometimes large tops could be a little too loose, even though they kind of fit, if that makes sense. So I wanted a tighter fit, um, like a little bit sexier fit. And I don't know if it's just the way my chest is, but it's like very tight. It's like a little too, like slightly too tight where um, there's like a little bit of like spillage, but I don't know. I tried everything on and I really felt like I'd rather keep it than try to send it back and experiment with other sizes. I think I'm just kind of in between sizes and some things. Otherwise it fit really well. Again, adjustable straps are my favorite. I think one thing that I'm nervous about is like if it's too tight when I sit in the bottoms um, or even the top, you know how your weight kind of fluctuates throughout the day. I'm worried that these are going to snap. <laughs> like, I don't know. kind of wish they were metal, but it looked like it was metal on the website, but it's like a, this ceramic. So I'm a little nervous that it's going to break. <laughs> but not because it doesn't fit just me normal. It's just like with your body movement and tension, sometimes those things can happen. So I didn't feel the need to send it back. I think it'll be fine. And if it's not, I really hope I don't have an incident at a hotel pool. <laughs> so wish me luck. But yeah, those are the bathing suits I got from Berlook, and so far I will say my favorite is the blue and white one out of the out of the mix, but I like the style of this one as well. So I'm very excited to share this next item, which are a set of nails, 
and I haven't bought nails in a long while. I either reuse old ones that I have or I bought some a long time ago that I'm still using, but I'm pretty much running out of the ones that I have and I really wanted a special set for my anniversary trip coming up. So I got these cherry pink nails in like a coffin setting and I am so excited to wear these. They are so pretty. They are just so girly and so glam and they are just going to be perfect for where we're going. I just can't wait to wear them. I really hope they fit my nails. They, I usually order a size small, but sometimes the pinkies can be a little off, like depending on the seller. I get some, I got this on Etsy and sometimes the sellers like, I don't know, the, the pinkies can be different sizes. Like this is a size small in press on and it fits perfectly, but some of them I have found were too small and they can kind of hurt my nails a little bit, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to wear these for sure. Absolutely gorgeous, just giving such glam and pink vibes, which I love, and the cherries, oh my goodness. I've been obsessed with cherries, I think, especially when I was younger. Cherries were all the rage early Y2K, <laughs> or I would say like, yeah, definitely early 2000s and I had like a cherry backpack and I had all this cherry stuff, me and my sister. <laughs> and honestly, I like that they're coming in style again, so not that I think they ever went out of style, but I think they're just more trendy again. And um, they're from Hot Press Nail Co. on Etsy. Now, this seller sells both custom-made and I think they sell nails that are kind of mass-produced as well. So, there's a couple of options, but I would go at, I usually, um, I have bought another set previously from the seller and I really loved them. They were the custom versions and these are the custom design that they're handmade. So, I decided to get these and I hope they're just as good. And then you usually get like your standard glue and buffer, nail file, all that good stuff. So I will hopefully report back with some lovely reviews of this and hopefully they turn out great. All right, so these next items I'm really hoping do not like leak <laughs> on my but they are some hair products I've been trying out for a little while now. Like, I would say several weeks. And I really wanted to share them because they're really great. It's by Heritage, and I've been looking for some hair, like, conditioning rinses. Um, and I really wanted um, an ACV hair rinse. But some of the ones I've tried before have been really expensive. So I'm at Walmart, which is my usual, like, grocery shop place, and our Walmart had this hairline, and I've tried some of their other stuff before, and decided to try out their ACV hair rinse, and I'm literally almost out. <laughs> I love it so much. I do it about once a week. Uh, same with this one. It's very, like, cleansing but keeps your hair shiny. It's just perfect, especially for like my hair oiling day, which is usually Sunday. If I wanna like put hair growth oil, let that sit, and then I'll wash my hair and, and use this too. And my hair is super shiny and soft. Uh, there's a couple other products I, you know, obviously use, like a heat protectant and a hair oil and stuff to help with that. But this has definitely made a difference. Absolutely love this. Definitely a go-to. And then I also tried out their rice water hair rinse. And this is more nourishing, boosting 
overall appearance of your hair so I use this as more of like a conditioning rinse um, later in the week and it's like another boost for my hair and it feels great so I love these a lot and I really wanted to share them and they're from Walmart <laughs> I'm all about affordable hair care because I mean these even these are like a little bit more, a couple more dollars, although everything is so expensive now, like, like my body wash that I usually get went up like a dollar, and they put less in the bottle, <laughs> and it's just really frustrating that body care products are so expensive, and they're like giving you less, but these have lasted pretty, pretty great, if anything, I've maybe overused the product. Like, I didn't need to use as much as I usually do, but these have been so great. So, definitely recommend. I should preface that my hair is naturally, like, straight. Um, but I think those rinses are from pretty much all hair types, if I'm not mistaken. Another Walmart to find is EOS's Body Lotion. I really want to pick up their other scent that they have. It's like a vanilla-based scent. But at the, at the time, I think that one, there was only one left and the bottle was broken. So I ended up picking up Coconut Waters. It has seven nourishing oils and butters. Oh, I like that my thumb can fit there. That's nice. <laughs> um, it smells so good. It actually smells like something from Bath and Body Works. It's like their tropical scent line. I forget which it is, but it's definitely got the coconut, summery, sweet scent vibes. And I've been wanting a more scented lotion for the mornings so that I can pair it with my perfume and just make my overall perfume scent last longer. I've been really into scents, you guys. Like, I've been saving so many TikToks of perfumes that I want to try. It's insane. There are so many that I really want to get, and I really want to test them out before I buy them. So, we shall see. Oh, my perfume collection, and just, I want to smell good all obsession. So I'm super happy with this and love it. And I try to save it for like my work days and like when I'm actually going to go out and smell good. <laughs> if I'm just staying at home, I probably wouldn't use it and just use like a normal lotion. So it says it's a creamy coconut, lush hibiscus, and solar musk. I don't even know what solar musk is, but I love it so far. And they have Again, there are other scents, um, so, and I picked this up at Walmart, so I'm sure they have it in other various stores, such as Walmart. Speaking of scents again, I had to try out this scent from, I think it's Sol Janeiro. Sol Janeiro. I don't know why I thought there was a D in the middle. Sol Janeiro. Yeah, Sol Janeiro. If I am saying that incorrectly, I apologize. And I got the um, Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is a moisturizing shower cream gel. I got the travel kit of items because I really wanted to try the scent first. And I'm pleasantly surprised and I absolutely know I'm going to buy the full versions of the cream and the spray. I don't think I really need the shower cream gel and I actually have tried all of these. <laughs> I was too excited. And I don't really feel like the scent sticks around with the cream gel. I could be using it wrong, so I'm not sure. But I love these two for sure. Okay, 
unzipped, so I unzipped it. So there's the Brazilian Crush Cariosa or Chario Cherosa. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but this is the spray. It's pistachio and salted caramel. And it, the, the scent title is Cherosa or I'm not sure. There it is. I've already used like half the bottle. It's a perfume mist, and I like to spray this on after I put on my lotion, my EOS lotion, and I'll spray this, and then I'll spray a perfume on top. So that's kind of like how I'm layering is the lotion or body cream, then this spray, and then whatever perfume that I think will pair with it. But you could wear this on its own. I just think the scents kind of last longer. Um, I'm gonna have to go buy a full-size version of this because I love it so much. Um, and I trying, I'm trying to savor it. <laughs> it's not working though because it just it smells so good. This is the shower cream gel again. It doesn't really have instructions on how to like use it. <laughs> and I know you're supposed to use it as like a body wash type of thing, but I feel like the scent doesn't last very long so I don't know if I'm just doing And then we have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is very creamy. I will say this is not slippery. It dries down really quickly, so I love that. It's not too slippery at all, like not greasy or anything. Again, it claims fast absorbing body cream and 100% believe that because I put it on and like it, was, it dried. So um, that was great to see especially because I was going to put on clothes and I didn't want it to like transfer and the smell was very good definitely lingered so this is what it looks like like that mm. kind of like a coconutty warm vanilla scent like a very summer scent. But honestly, I would wear this all year long. <laughs> like, I just would. Mm. Oh, this smells so good. So I'll usually pair this with like a sweet or vanilla style scent. Uh, but you can experiment with whatever scents you have if you try it out. love these so much. Okay, so that is the body travel size set I got. On the same vein of body products, I've been using this dry brush. I actually featured this in a recent ASMR video. And I wanted to try it out and also use it for a video, so I picked it up from Walmart. Uh, it's from Eco Tools. And it's honestly like I have noticed such a difference with my skin using this every so often, and it truly makes your skin so much smoother. Apparently, it can help also help with like like cell circulation, like skin cell, and um, just like circulating your blood because <laughs> you're supposed to dry brush towards your heart. But yeah, I wanted to plug this because I love it. I didn't realize it was so effective, like I could feel the results right away. Like my skin felt soft without any lotion on it. Um, so you use it like right before the shower shower and then you can put lotion on after and it definitely feels great. So, also makes a nice sound. <laughs> I feel like I've been so late to the bandwagon of like cute hair ties and this is just so like 
probably everyone has this already, but I was late to the, late to the, to the trend. But they're like these softer, I call them colitas, but that's, <laughs> that's what I grew up learning. Um, I don't know full on Spanish, but my mom is Costa Rican and she, you know, a couple words I've picked up. <laughs> I just didn't learn the language effectively growing up, so I know, like, I always have called these colitas, but they are hair ties. So, um, yeah, the hair ties are more like a, I don't know, like a softer fabric, not like a coil. And they're pretty tight, even though they look like they're a little softer and more stretchy. They might stretch over time, like any I got black. I already opened up my, my pack of black ones. And I like them. I feel like they're really sturdy. I don't feel like they super dig into my hair like the coiled uh, hair tie ones, like the thin rope ones. These are just like super cute as well in your hair. Like you put a ribbon in your hair or something. So I got some brown ones and some light beige ones. And then I got some basic black ones. So I wanted to share those because I know everyone has them, but I just finally picked them up and now I have so many hair ties. So I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I've been growing my hair out long, so hair ties are definitely something I need for sure. I got some items from Sephora and these are some Rare Beauty products. So excited to have these. I will say I've already used the blushes. I got this blush a little, like a long while ago and then I picked up another one because I had a gift card um, to use up and then I ended up getting the powder highlighter as well. So I kept the packaging for these since they're more recent but I actually have tried both the blushes. This is Hope, the Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. Yes, love it. I think I also featured this in my latest makeup ASMR video. Like, applying makeup. I love it. I think this is a beautiful brand. I love the products. I love how pigmented blush is. I think if I had to pick my favorite beauty product, it would be blush. I just think blush makes my whole look and I don't know. I just absolutely love it. So Hope is like a really great color for me. It's definitely like on the, I would say, neutral pink, not too cool, not too yellow, sort of mid-tones work well with this and obviously you can build it up. I love to build up my blush. <laughs> I'm not afraid of my blush. So, this is what it looks like in like packaging and this is Encourage, one of also my favorite This is a much cooler toned pink, like a deeper mauve, I would say, than this one. That's what me. Looks like I actually really like this on me. Um, I think because you can blend things out really well, you can kind of just, you know, dilute it if you need. But these both are great on me. I love it. So, I love it. I love Selena Gomez. I love Rare Beauty such a fan. And these are so beautiful. Okay. And I have used them both. <laughs> but I wanted to save the packaging for this video. What I have yet to try is the highlighter. It's in the color Accelerate. It's an ultra silky powder highlight highlighter 
then melts onto the skin for an effortless iridescent glow. I think it's like a champagne color. I'm so excited, I haven't seen this yet in person. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It reminds me of like the 60s a little bit, like like this really kind of futuristic 60s packaging. I feel like my grandmother back then might have had this kind of thing, maybe in the 70s. This is so pretty, and I feel like this isn't too dark for me or too light. It'll go great in the summer if my skin gets just a tad tanner. I don't really tan or anything, so I, I'm not too worried about my skin totally changing different colors, but um, beautiful. And it's a little gold, which I wanted, so I think this will be perfect. The packaging is very light and pretty. Like, it's just gorgeous. So, yeah. This is the rare beauty items I got. And I absolutely love them. So, can't wait to try out the highlighter. But I can for, for sure say that I love the blushes. I wanted to go ahead and share some other jewelry that I've been really loving. I've been wearing this very frequently. These are just from two different Amazon brands. I can just put them below. Um, I think these are bigger. These are like the bigger hoops. I have like smaller ones from the same brand. And I love them because they're super lightweight. So they're not really heavy on my ears, which is really great. And... I just love this kind of backing, especially for long nails. Sometimes the ones that like click in just do not work with long nails. So this is perfect for me. And I don't know how long they'll last. They haven't tarnished yet. And I've been trying to keep everything pretty like good to go. But sometimes things just wear down depending on how expensive they are and how much you use it, and the products you use, like perfume and oils and lotions that might get on it, so, or if you wash your hands a lot, just all of that kind of wears things down, so I try to be really good about sort of preserving what I have, but these are not that expensive. They were pretty inexpensive, actually, and that works for me for now. I think I ended up walking into a, a majority store like a, a couple months ago, and I love Majuri. I have a couple of their pieces, but I have like the more low-end affordable pieces, and then I walked into this Majuri store uh, location and picked up a ring, the first thing I saw, and I loved it. It was just like a simple, thick gold bar ring, and I'm like, oh, I love this, super simple, and I asked the guy how much it was. It was $500. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I have bills to pay. I'm good. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> um, maybe one day I'll be able to afford that. I simply was not going to purchase a $500 ring on a, on a whim on like a random Saturday. That's definitely like a very, I don't even know, even for a gift, that's very expensive for just like one thing. But I know that ring would last a long time, so I, I kind of understand that. Um, but yeah, I also got these necklaces. These came in a set, which I really liked. I got this more like, is it called like a snake chain um, necklace? And then I got sort of like a thin rope chain. Now, I don't know how long these are gonna last. They were pretty inexpensive as well from Amazon. So I don't know, I'm kind of just trying it out and then when I find the pieces that are a little bit more pricey that maybe will last a while, I will invest in those, but I don't know. I don't know that I'll ever be ready to buy a $500 piece for 
for myself. That seems a lot, but I also know that those things might last a long time, so I understand that. But this is working for now, and they're doing really well, so I just wanted to share these items. I recently got, um, I visited my mom and she gave me some jewelry, so this first thing, she actually said my dad got it for her on their fifth year anniversary, for their wedding anniversary, and my six year anniversary is this year, so I, that was kind of like funny how she gave it to me and it was like, sort of similar. simple gold bangle and it's got like little t uh, not twine but like gold roping around it and I love this because I can just kind of stick it on my arm I mean obviously I could have it like dangle if I wanted it but I like that I can just have it around my arm too isn't that so pretty really happy she gave it to me and it's like a little piece of her and my dad which I like so I'm gonna keep that safe and then my mom um, got me this little bee necklace <laughs> she's been to like bees lately I haven't really opened this yet so oh this is cute this is cute. This is really cute. It's just like a little bee. I like this. It's super simple. It's nothing like too, too much. And I feel like I could definitely pair this with stuff. But it's super cute. I like that. <laughs> so, it's got like a silver chain, which I like silver and gold. I'll even mix my metals. I'm not afraid of that. It's really great. pretty. But yeah, she gifted me these items. So I thought I would share them as well. So these last few items are restocking things I have purchased before and then a couple new things. Not really. Most of them are things I've had before uh, and from Target for the most part so this is the La Roche-Posay double repair face moisturizer I've been running low on my other one I think I recently just shared well not recently but a couple months ago I did a whole video and I wanted to try this out and I am happy to say I love it bottle. I will say it's su super great. The bottle is very like handy and beautiful. But when you get to the end, it's this is such a firm bottle that it's hard to get like the last amount of product out without being awkwardly trying to squeeze it and not like harm myself <laughs> from the bottle flying out of my hand. So that's like the only hang up, but I'm sure it's because they like to keep design. Otherwise, I found that it really is amazing, and I use it at night, specifically. And then I recently picked up the Retinol B3 Serum for Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate Renewing and Resurfacing. I've been wanting to try Retinol, um, and nothing like super harsh, um, so I got this one from La roche -Posay. I think they call it like a really good beginner retinol, I could be wrong, but it's not, um, it's not meant to like really purge your skin heavily. Um, this is the bottle, it's in like a red bottle, and I've already tried it out for like a couple times over the last few weeks. I'm trying not to do it like too frequently just to get used to it, so kind of like a couple times a week, nothing crazy. But it comes in this bottle. 
and the solution is like this yellowy, creamy <laughs> consistency. Um, but yeah, it actually feels really good on the skin. It doesn't burn me. It's very hydrating feeling in a weird way. Um, and I feel like it's definitely made a little difference, but I haven't tried it out for a very long time, so the jury is still out. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving La Roche-Posay. Their products have been really pleasantly um, accommodating to my skin. <laughs> so definitely going to be repurchasing these products in the future. So a couple other products I got. I've restocked these products. I have another concealer like this already, but this is actually like the pinky color correcting one called Corrector Multi-Usage. Yes, it's supposed to be like a brightener and I definitely need this. <laughs> so I'm hoping it goes well. I need to just try it out. See if it works. And then I re- I've had like multiples of these. I think I go through this too quickly. Honestly, it is the, the True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Honestly, this is just such a go-to. I get the very light, um, color. Honestly, it blends out pretty well that it's not too light at all on me. Um, it's just perfect. And I wear this in the winter, plan to wear it in the summer. It's just an all-around great, um, daily foundation that's not heavy at all. Blends really Next up, I have the Pixi Vitamin C Tonic. I feel like I love this, and it does help. Um, it just runs out really quickly. I do use it every day, so I guess I'm getting my money's worth, but I don't know. I love it, but I also don't love that it costs so much. <laughs> I might try the Ordinary vitamin C again. I've had it before, but I just feel like I just haven't gone back to it, and I do think that's a little bit more inexpensive, so I might try the Ordinary again. And finally, I have the Hydrating Serum from Elf Skin. I like this. I repurchased it. Will I repurchase it again? Is the question, and I think... I may not. I'm not sure. I kind of want to find something else. The only issue I have with this, it's great overall. It's such a great product. The only issue is I can't see how much is left in the bottle. <laughs> and I feel like it does last a long time, but it is kind of frustrating that I can't find out how much is left because it's not see-through. So that's kind of the only hang-up I have. But these are some of the items I've restocked are my last couple items. I've had micellar cleansing water before. I stopped using it for a little while and realized that I miss it. I just miss having it around as an option when I need to take off really thick makeup or heavier makeup looks. So even though I don't use it all the time, I definitely like having it around. So I just picked up the regular Garnier micellar cleansing water. Um, and I get like the bigger one. And finally, I restocked on my way hair oil, which is awesome. It's great. It's like acts as a heat protectant as well. I'm almost positive. So it says it's a multitasking oil that smooths the frizz and seals split ends for a, high for a high gloss, super smooth finish, backed with African galanga. Ama and Asian barrage oils to keep color from fading and protect hair from heat damage. So, love it. And it makes my hair just incredibly more smooth, etc. I will say I prefer the scent of the Moroccan oil much more, like the Moroccan brand oil. But that oil is very expensive. So, I just stick with and it actually lasts like a really long time. So definitely recommend 
this oil. It's a restock item for me. So yeah. Well, that concludes all the items that I wanted to share. I hope that it was interesting for you and it was fun to watch. Uh, all my beauty skin stuff that I am enjoying, some stuff I'm excited to try. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope that I'll see you 